Good evening, I'm Scott Thompson. I'm Karen Larson. Here are your trending stories in Green Country tonight. Broken Arrow police have arrested a man they say sexually assaulted a woman. Police say Franklin Atkinson met the victim at a bar and offered to give her a ride home. The woman told police that Atkinson sexually assaulted and beat her when she got into his vehicle. She says she was eventually knocked unconscious and later woke up and crawled to a nearby home for help. You've got another chance Friday to donate blood at the First Responders Blood Drive, sponsored by the Tulsa Police and Fire Departments. It's from 10 to 5.30 at Myers, Durr, and Harley-Davidson on South Peoria. The Tulsa Fire Department will be grilling and serving free hot dogs while you're there. The Gathering Place is teaming up with OU Culinary to teach kids about healthy eating. Thursday, they set up food stations at the park for Public Health Week. Children could sample a variety of vegetables and learn about the importance of healthy eating. Healthcare professionals say it's very important to introduce foods early because children form their eating habits by the age of five. Here's this year's Mayfest poster. It's called Tulsa, the Prairie Phoenix. It features a phoenix reimagined as a scissor-tailed flycatcher, which is Oklahoma State bird. It was created by local artist Kim Donner. Mayfest is May 17th through the 19th in the Tulsa Arts District. And weather-wise, overnight tonight we'll see partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid-40s. We'll actually start to see some morning fog develop for that commute on Friday. Want to watch out for that. That should clear off by around mid-morning. Elsewhere, lows in the lower 40s, the north of Tulsa, mid to upper 40s down to the south. For tomorrow afternoon, things look great. A little bit of fog in the morning, becoming mostly sunny with temperatures around 73 in Tulsa with very light south winds. Great way to get the weekend going. 73 tomorrow in Bartlesville, 75 in McAllister. And as we head toward the weekend, we are going to start to see, unfortunately, some rain chances Saturday and Sunday. Best chance during the day on Saturday, tapering off by Sunday night. Things warming up next week, 70s and eventually some 80s by Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, thank you, Mike. If you'd like more of the day's news, go to our website or mobile app. And you can make up, uh, wake up with our two works for you morning team at 4.30 in the morning.